Metro. The idle's down. Takes the pump. Green light on. Put it into gear. Open this valve and okay. open the tank fill. Yeah, and the then water you... goes in and just opens up another valve into the tank. So okay, and then to turn it back off, you did in which order? You just close the tank fill and then close the water coming in okay. to the, to the Perfect. pump. Yeah, you say you've got 400 feet here, or whatever it is. Yeah, you could basically go until it's almost ended bring it around to the truck as an inlet line from the hydrant yeah. and then you're running your free connects that you've got on the, truck. Got on the truck. That's the whole idea, right? Kind of, line well, I guess a way more sophisticated what we're trying to do with the little truck, right? Exactly. But in that case, you're just running off of hydrant pressure. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this, you can roll up, you can lay your line. You've got 500 gallons once you get, get there. Send somebody with a pre-connect to the fire and then just wait until the lines are hooked up to the hydrant and into your pump. Yeah. And you've got all the water you want. The hydrant. So if we pull up to a hydrant like this, the 
fireman on the back of the truck would come up here and grab this line, and come in here, and he grounds it like this. So now with me grounding it like this, kneeling on it and holding it, if that line hangs up in the bed, I can easily let go of this line and step away without getting injured. Okay? When I when when I'm got the the line grounded, the driver can see me in the mirror now because I'm right in his line for the mirror. When I give him the signal to drive, he drives. Always keeping an eye on me and how the line is coming off. So you give yourself a little bit of extra slack to get to your fire hydrant. Too. You've got enough slack to get to your fire hydrant, so you might pull out. You know, another 10 feet, 20 feet behind it, whatever you need. Right? Yeah. You can fold this up on the ground anytime you want, <coughs> want it, and then the truck drives away to the fire, hopefully. Yeah. Stops at the fire. In the meantime, I'm here. I run over to the hydrant, hook it up to the hydrant, turn it on. I only turn it on when I get the signal from the driver down at the fire. He hits his air horn or his horn to let me know that it's all right to turn in the water. He gives me like a 10 or 15 second signal on his air horn. Give me water, I'm ready for water. Because he needs time to stop, put the truck in the park, chop the wheel, put it into pump, get out, break the line at the back of the truck here, bring the coupling over here, plug it into the intake. So it all takes time. So you want to listen for that air horn. So this air isn't, this is not a quick connect then. This is this doesn't all have to come out. You can just disconnect it when you get to yeah, a coupler and then run yeah, around. Yeah, he, he disconnects it out of a coupler yeah. and brings it around to his pump panel, plugs it in. He's ready for what? Drying? drying. Like, uh, no, as, unless the hose here. is really wet or muddy on the outside, yeah. it doesn't really need to be hung. You can just load it back on. It However, in the shot once once a year, once every two years, in the, in the busy fire halls like we have, we're always changing our hose over. Right? We'll do a hose change today where we change an entire bed. And that's with four or five guys working on it. So yeah. it's not that onerous of a job. We're getting a big job. Yeah, yeah. So we change the whole hose bed over. Yeah, it should be changed at least once a year. You should run this whole thing out and then take it all out, wash it, hang it to dry. Put it back on. 